Told primarily through internal narration, Angst is a 1983 Austrian film based on the mass murder Werner Nysik. Also known as Schizophrenia in France, Angst was directed by Gerald Cargill and shot by Oscar-winning cinematographer Zbig Rutinsky, with music by former Tangerine Dream member Klaus Scholz. The director and cinematographer both worked on the screenplay together to craft an experience that takes advantage of the full potential of cinema in order to make the audience feel a part of the story instead of just being told it. Following a serial killer played by Das Boot's Irwin Leader, Anx turns the home invasion subgenre on its head as it follows a recently released prison inmate who immediately begins looking for his next victim as soon as he's released. He's eventually led to a secluded home and the audience follows the home invader's perspective instead of the victims like in typical films in the home invasion subgenre. He's a psychopath who isn't your traditional brooding killing machine found in most horror cinema. The fear in watching Angst comes from the fact that it's a semi-true crime film that reveals the illogical and irrational decisions about Irwin Leader's character through the use of actual quotes from real life serial killers and criminals by way of his character's internal monologue. After being banned in many countries and only screened in triple X theaters in America upon initial release, Angst finally hit DVD and Blu-ray in the US on September 8th, 2015. By modern standards, the depictions of violence in this film aren't all that shocking. Although pig's blood was used for added realism, the murders never feel gratuitous. Brutal realism is a more apt description, and what many took issue with at the time of the film's release was the way Angst puts the audience in the mind of the killer like few films had before it. Although the killer isn't a sympathetic character, we are exposed to internal narration to provide some history and context of his life and mentality, and that he understands that no rehabilitation has taken place during his incarceration. Director Gerald Cargill sought Rybczynski to shoot the film due to the inventive techniques and shooting methods he was known for deploying in the music videos he directed. Rybczynski devised and employed unconventional methods to shoot angst, including mounting the camera on a rudimentary rope system and using mirrors to shoot from positions that would normally be physically impossible. A body rig system was also devised that allowed the camera to swing around the killer. This creates a supremely effective sensation of being a part of the actions taken by Irwin Leader's character and not just his spectator to them. There's much to appreciate about angst, including the way it subverts traditional slasher and home invasion cinema as it defies typical genre conventions. Angst is an incredibly memorable film that stands out as a hugely important piece of cinema history that manages to be the inverse of typical horror films that were released alongside it during the early 80s slasher boom. A true mark of a great film is how it holds up over time, and over 30 years later, Angst is still a must-see.